Okay, hi guys, or hi yogis. So this afternoon, it's going to be a vinyasa class. It's going to be a slightly strong class. So if you are a beginner, do feel free to modify back up from any movement or any posture that does not feel comfortable at all for you. Uh, feel free to use props as well. You can use uh, blocks or straps, whatever you have available for you at the moment at your own homes. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Find yourself at the front of your mat. Find your feet about hips width distance apart. All ten toes pointing forward. Take your hands by the side. Closing the eyes. Feel your weight equal on all four corners of your feet. So your weight is not leaning onto your toes. Neither are you leaning back with the weight onto the heel. So you really root down through the center. Find this time and space as well to relax and slow down your breath. As you breathe easy in and out through the nose, feel free to close the eyes just for a bit, just so you can set the mood for your practice today. Before beginning to move the body, set an intention for your practice. And use this intention as your guide or your inspiration to move or flow on your mind. And right here, let's take one clearing breath. Inhale deeply through the nose. And sigh out. Gripping the toes firmly onto the mat, lifting the arches of the feet. Lift your kneecaps up, firm the thighs in towards the center, tuck the tailbone under, pull the belly button in, firm the ribs in, and keep the shoulders roll down the back, chin slightly tucked. If you have your eyes closed, you can open them or keep them closed, whatever you want, belly in. Inhale to stretch and reach the arms up and over the head. As you exhale, press the air away from you as you swan dive, fold forward. You're more than welcome to use a block here in your forward fold. You can even have it uh, at a different setting, at the lowest height or even at the tallest height. And just allow the neck to relax here, releasing any creases from the back of the neck. Have a soft bend in the knees if needed. Otherwise, you can keep the legs straight, heel tingly, tailbone up towards the ceiling. Slow, easy, steady breath in and out through the nose. And from here, you can still use the block or uh, feel free to just hold on to the ankles. Inhale here to lengthen the spine. As you exhale, you can take your right hand onto your left ankle or keep the right hand on the block. Slightly bend the right knee. Belly in, inhale here, and slowly exhale, reach the left arm up towards the ceiling or towards the sky, opening your left shoulder, reaching the left fingertips up towards the ceiling. Slow, steady breath, in and out through the nose, keep the belly button pulled in. Feel the stretch on the left hamstring here. Breathe for four, three, two, one, exhale to come back to center, placing your hands onto the mat or onto the block and we'll switch sides. Inhale to lengthen here. Exhale, left hand holds onto the right ankle, bending into the left knee. And from here, inhale to open the right shoulder, reaching your right arm up towards the ceiling or towards the sky, gazing up towards the right fingertips. Stretching more onto the right hamstring here, keep the belly button pulled in. Make sure you energize the fingertips as you reach up so you're not dumping down onto the legs. All right, keep the belly button pulled in. Breathe for four, three, two, one. Exhale to release, coming back to center, either hands on the block or hands on the mat. Inhale to lengthen, think flat back. Exhale, keep the right foot towards the front. Step the left foot and take the left knee down onto the mat. Inhale here, gaze forward, open chest. 
As you exhale, left hand stays down onto the mat. You can have the back toes on top and inhale to reach the right hand up. Make sure you're not dumping your weight on the left shoulder as well as on the left wrist. So energize as you reach the right fingertips up towards the sky. Keep the right knee over the right ankle. If you need to step the foot back, step the foot back. Steady breath. Breathe for four, three, two, one. Exhale to take your right hand down onto the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, tuck the back toes. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. And inhale here, half lift. Exhale, switching sides, right foot steps back. Take your right knee down onto the mat. Left foot over the left ankle, right hand stays down. And inhale, open the left shoulder as you reach the left arm up towards the ceiling or towards the sky. Again, don't dump your weight on your right wrist as well as the right shoulder, but reach up, energize through the left fingertips as you open the chest. Steady breath in a gentle twist. In Anjali Asana, breathe for four, three, two, one. Inhale here, exhale to take your left hand down onto the mat. Tap the back toes under, inhale, exhale, step forward with the right foot. Halfway lift, inhale, and exhale to fold. Taking a moment here, inner forward fold or Uttanasana, feel free to hug opposite elbows here as you tilt the tailbone or the pelvis up, keeping the belly button pulled in. There should be no pain in the low back here. The stretch is more on the hamstrings. Easy, gentle, steady breath in and out through the nose for four, three, two, one, release your fingertips down onto the mat. As you inhale, bend both the knees. Take your hips back instead of taking your knees forward from the toes. So sit the hips back, belly in. And from here, inhale to reach the arms up and over the head. Arms by the side of the ears. You can have the hands wider if you can't take them all the way towards the side. Uh, tuck the tailbone towards the knees. Keep the belly button pulled in and the ribs in. Stay here for a couple of breaths, breathing easy in and out through the nose for three, two, one. Interlace your fingers behind you. Inhale to puff up the chest and exhale. Drape your chest over your thighs, reaching your hands as far from the low back as you can. If you do experience any uh, pinching on the shoulders here, Kindly come out of this uh, different variation of Uttanasana or standing forward fold. No need to stay in a space of pain. There may, there may be a slight discomfort from the stretch, but at any point you do feel it in a joint. Uh, do come out. Kindly come out of the pose. Steady breath. Three more breaths. Three. Two. One, release, hands down onto the mat, inhale to lengthen, think flat back, exhale, palm up, step back into your plank position. Strong core, strong shoulders, keep the belly button pulled in, ribs in, pressing the back of the heart up towards the ceiling, keeping the belly button pulled up towards the spine, tuck the tailbone towards the heels, firm the thighs in, pressing the heels back. Steady breath. Inhale here. For those of you who are quite advanced, you can keep the knees lifted. Otherwise, you can take the knees down, belly in, chin and chest down onto the mat as well. On your next breath, pull yourself all the way forward and down onto your mat. Hands at the side of the lower ribs. Elbows are in. Shoulders are peeled off of the mat. Belly in. Press the pinky toes firmly down onto the mat. And from here, inhale to pull the heart forward as you press onto your hands all the way up into up dog or feel free to stay in low or high cobra. Open the heart, gaze forward or gaze up, belly in. Exhale, push onto your hands into downward facing. Slow breaths. Inhale. 
Pushing onto your hands as you lift the forearms up and away from the mat. Firm the triceps in, head is the arms. No around the neck. Shoulders are now crowding the ears. Belly button is in, ribs in. Tailbone is lifted up towards the ceiling. If your heels don't touch, it's perfectly fine to have a bend on the knees. So long as you're creating that action of gravitating the heels down towards the back of the mat. Downward facing dog or Adho Mukha Svanasana. Steady, slow breathing in and out through the nose. Let's take one clearing breath. Inhale deeply through the nose. And exhale to side out. Left foot stays down on the mat. Inhale to reach the right leg up towards the back. One legged down dog. Think square hips as the toes point down. Equal weight on both the hands. Pressing onto or pushing the earth away. Inhale here. Exhale to pull the right knee in. Inhale to lift the hips. Exhale to step the right foot inside of the right thumb. Right knee is over the right ankle. Stay on the ball of the back foot with the left knee lifted up. Here, inhale to rise. Reaching up and over the head. Into the lunge. Belly button fold in. Stretch up with the fingertips. Pull the right hip back slight. Just a gentle tuck of the tailbone. Press the left heel back. Lift the inner left thigh up. Steady breath in and out through the nose. Breathing easy for four, three, two, one. Exhale to take your left hand down onto the mat into a gentle twist. And inhale, open up as you reach the right hand up towards the ceiling, energizing through the right fingertips, gazing up towards the right hand or right thumb, belly in. Pull the right hip back. Keep the right knee tracking over the second toe of the right foot. Breathe for three, two, one. Take your right hand down onto your mat. Step the right foot back, plank pose. Knees, chin and chest or chaturanga all the way down onto your mat. Elbows hug in, inhale to rise up, cobra or up dog, gazing forward or gazing up, belly in. Exhale, push onto your hands. Lift the tailbone back and up, pressing the heels down towards the back of the mat. And we'll switch sides. Right heel stays down. Left leg reaches up the back. One leg down dog, square hips, pushing the floor away from you. Equal weight on both the hands. Belly in. Inhale. Exhale, pull the left knee in towards the chest. Inhale to lift the hips. Exhale, step your left foot inside of the left thumb. Stay on the ball of the back foot. Lift the left ankle. Firm the thighs in. And slowly inhale to reach the arms up and over the head. Pulling the left hip back. Pressing the back but keeping that right inner thigh lifted. And create that action of pulling the thighs towards the center. Belly in. Strong. Energize through the fingers. Hold steady here. Strong crescent lunge. Belly button pulled in. Breathe for three, two, one. Exhale to take your right hand down onto the mat. Keep the left knee tracking over the second toe. Inhale, energize through the left fingertips as you gaze up. Open the shoulders. Don't dump your weight onto the right wrist. Belly in. Steady breath. Breathing easy for three, Two, one. Left hand down onto the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Step back. Plank pose. Lower down. Chaturanga. Inhale. Cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Pushing the floor away from you. Lifting the forearms up. Firming the triceps in or firming the upper arms in. Belly in. Ribs in. Tailbone is lifted, press the heels down towards the back of the mat. Steady, slow breath in and out through the nose for four, three, two, one. Inhale to look forward, 
Exhale, step walk, hop, jump, float towards the front. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Find your big toes together. Bend both the knees, firm the thighs in. Inhale to reach the arms up and over the head. Keep the tailbone tucked towards the knees. Firm the thighs in. Keep the belly in. Ribs in. Arms by the side of the ears. Steady breath. Breathe for four. Three. Maybe sit a little lower in your chair. Two. One. Exhale to come up and out of the chair pose back into Tadasana. Belly in, inhale here. Exhale, stepping out towards the side of your mat. Find your heels parallel with the side edges of the mat. Roll the shoulders down the back. Keep the heart lifted, belly in. Inhale here, pub up the chest. Exhale, pivot from the hips as you press the hips back. Chest leads as it moves close towards the mat. Take your hands down onto the mat or keep it on the shins. Inhale to lengthen here and exhale to fold. Then as you fold in, make sure that you don't feel this in the knees. You don't feel this in the low back as well. And you don't need to have the crown of the head all the way down on the mat. You can just stay here so long as there is no strain on the low back, you're not pushing yourself to a space of pain or injury uh, for that matter. Steady breath, breathe easy, in and out through the nose for four, three, two, one. Inhale to halfway lift. Keep your right hand down onto the mat, plant it at the center, use a block if needed, so you can pull the uh, floor closer towards you, belly in, and inhale, reach the left arm up towards the ceiling or towards the sky, belly button fold in. Maybe there's more stretch on the right inner thigh here. Breathe towards that space. Four, three, two, one. And let's switch, left hand is down, Inhale, right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Slow, steady breath, in and out through the nose for four, three, two, one. Exhale to take your hands back down onto the mat. From here, inhale to lengthen. As you exhale, heel toe your feet closer in towards each other. Right hand holds on to the right chin, right calf, or right ankle. Left arm is on top of the right as the left hand reaches over towards the opposite uh, calf, ankle, or shin. Inhale here. Now as you exhale, walk your feet out as far from each other and as far as your shoulders will allow you to. Either you stay here and fold here or inhale. As you exhale, maybe go for a twist here. As you pull onto your left hand and your right hand, turn over towards the, uh, which side is this left side? Pressing your right ribs over towards the left, opening up on the left tricep and left side body. Breathe here for four, three, two, one. Exhale, wherever you are, or if you did the twist, return to center. Heel toe your feet back in and switch. Now the right arm is on top of the left. Inhale here and exhale to heel toe your feet again out towards the side as far as you can take them, as far as your shoulders allow you to. Now if you stay here on the other side, stay here and breathe here. Creating space for the inner thighs, hips, and as well for the shoulders. If you did the twist on the other side, do it here as well. Pulling onto both the hands, taking your head under the right tricep, pushing the left ribs towards the right side, pushing into the right side body. Belly button pulled in. Steady breath here. Breathe for four, three, two, one. If you're here in the twist, slowly come up, coming back to center. 
For those of you with, well, for everyone in crossed arms, slowly take your hands back down onto the mat. Inhale. And slowly as you exhale, take your hands towards the hips and inhale to rise back up into standing. Inhale here and exhale to come back towards the front of the mat. Find your feet again, uh, rather big toes together. Belly button pulled in. And from here, inhale to reach the arms up and over the head. Chair pose. Inhale here. Exhale to press the palms together. I'm just going to start on my left side so you will see what I'm doing. But you can start on the right uh, Go there. <laughs> Belly button pulled in. Squeeze the thighs. Inhale here. Exhale towards the right side. Take your right side of the left knee. And from here, check that your knees are still staying in line. So if the right knee moved forward, gently pressing it back. Squeeze the thighs, hips towards the left side. Press the right elbow against the right knee. Try to take your thumbs close in towards the center of the chest. Same uh, position as when you are doing your prayer. So you're not all the way here. So press the left shoulder towards the back. Firm the thumbs towards the center of the chest. If there is strain in the neck, you can just keep the gaze down. Belly in. Breathe for four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale to come out of the twist. Inhale here. You can take a break if you want, fold forward, or if you are ready, inhale here. Exhale to twist towards the other side. Left elbow outside of the right knee. Again, realign your knees from the thighs in. Hips are moving towards the right side. We're going to press the left elbow against the right knee. Pull the thumbs towards the center of the chest. Right shoulder opens up towards the sky. Chest stays open. Belly in. Breathe for four. Three. Two. One. Exhale. To slowly come back out. Inhale here. Exhale, folding it. Huh. Chair pose really uh, works the legs a lot, especially if you put in a twist into the movement. One clearing breath here to help us reset. Inhale through the nose. And exhale, side up. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, palms down. Step, hop, walk, jump, plank pose. Inhale here, either knees, chin and chest down onto the mat or shift forward, bend the elbows, hug the elbows in, chaturanga, untuck the toes, ribs or rather belly button pulled in, press onto the pinky toes, inhale to pull the heart forward, push onto your hands, lift the inner thighs up, belly button in, gaze forward or gaze up, open heart, exhale, push onto your hands, downward, Facing dog. Slow and steady breath in and out through the nose. Pushing the earth away from you, finding length in the side of the body. Maybe even releasing tension around the neck, as sometimes when we do uh, a bunch of twists, it goes on the neck instead of uh, finding the twist from the center of the body and openness of the shoulders as well. Let's take one clearing breath here. Inhale through the nose. And exhale to side up. Right heel stays down. I'm just going to start with the left leg, but feel free to start with the opposite leg. Left leg reaches up and back. One leg down dog. Exhale to bend the knee. Open up the hip. Inhale again. One leg down dog. Square hips. Exhale, pull the left knee in. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, step the left foot inside of the left thumb. Stand the ball of the back foot. Left knee stays over the left ankle. Belly in. And from here, inhale again. Rise back up into your crescent lunge. Breathe here. Keep the gaze steady. Lift the inner right thigh up. 
firm the thighs and keep the hips squared, press the right heel back. Inhale here. And slowly as we exhale, twist towards the left side, taking your right elbow outside of the left knee, pressing the palms together, then create that action again of pulling the thumbs towards the heart. Then imagine yourself in a prayer position. So when you are praying, you don't pray this way, you don't also pray this way. So create that action, pull the thumbs towards the center of the chest. Gaze up or gaze back. If there's strain in the neck, gaze down, belly in. Breathe for four, three, two, one. Unravel slowly from the twist. Take your hands down onto the mat. Step back, plank pose. From your plank, inhale. Exhale, either you take your forearms simultaneously or one by one. Feel free to measure if you need to measure. Walk the feet forward, dolphin pose, keep the head lifted, chin towards the chest. Have a bend in the knees if needed. This is perfectly fine for your dolphin pose. Steady breath here, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Forearm plank. From your forearm plank, belly in, Inhale here, exhale, push yourself up, plank pose. Plank pose, knees, chin and chest down, or chaturanga, all the way down onto your mat. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And let's switch over towards the opposite side, whichever is the opposite side for you, mine is the right side. Left heel stays down, right leg reaches up the back, one leg down dog, squared hips, inhale, exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip, inhale again, one legged uh, downward facing dog, exhale, pull the right knee in, inhale, lift the hips, exhale, step the right foot inside of the right thumb, right knee is over the right ankle, keep the belly in, and inhale to rise, press the lunge, reaching the arms up and over the head. Firm the thighs in, slightly pull the right hip back, lengthen the sides of the waist long, inhale. Exhale to twist, left elbow outside of your right knee. Use the palms, same thing. Pull the thumbs towards the chest, open the heart, gaze up or gaze back. You can even gaze down if there's strain in the neck. Strong legs here, pressing the left heel back, keeping that left knee cap lifted up, belly in. Modify, you can take the knee down if this is too much for you. Breathe for three, two, one. Exhale to unravel, palms down, step back, plank pose. From your plank, take the elbows down or one elbow at a time. Walk the feet forward, dolphin pose, either bent knees or legs straight, chin towards the chest. Steady breath here. Breathe for four, three, two, one. Child's pose. Taking your knees down onto the mat, we can keep them, we can keep the thighs together, we can take the knees as wide as the hips or maybe even wider. Set the hips onto the heels, take your forehead down onto the mat. If you really want to relax the full upper body, take the hands at the side and back as well and allow the shoulders to melt down onto the mat, releasing stress and tension from head to toe, releasing any tension from the shoulders and the arms, upper back, core, legs, both the hamstrings and the quads. And as well, stretching the ankle here a bit as well. There's also a stretch here for the glutes as well as for the hips. For some of you who are quite tight, your child's pose might look this way and that's perfectly fine. Over time, as you move along in your practice, it will slowly open uh, with your hips down onto the heels. Slow, steady breath in and out through the nose.
breathe. Let's take two clearing breaths. Inhale and exhale at the side. Out. One more. Inhale and exhale at the side. Out. And slowly take your fingers under these shoulders. Press yourself back up into seated. A uh, good thing that I am <laughs> not freezing. So right now is I'm going to I'm just going to demo to you one thing that you can do in your headstand where you can apply the twisting movement and it makes your headstand a little bit more fun as well. For those of you who do not have a headstand practice yet. Feel free to opt out from doing a headstand. You can just practice your dolphin, or if you are already starting out in your headstand practice, you can use the wall as well. Right, so just so we can apply the twisting motion in headstand, for those of you who have the headstand practice, you can do this traditional or in your tripod headstand. So measure your shoulders. Interlace the fingers or palms down if you're going for a tripod. Take the crown of the head down. Shoulders are lifted away from the ears. Lift the hips up. Walk. And then slowly rise up into your straight head stack. Belly in. From here, inhale. Exhale to take your right leg down. And then we're going to twist. Take your right leg towards the side. Tap your right foot down. Inhale back. Take it back to center and back up. And let's switch. Left leg down, halfway. Inhale, exhale to twist. Take it towards the right side. Tap the left foot down. Inhale, come back. Exhale, take it to center. And come back straight. Hold your straight. Belly in if I'm a little bit um, sideways. Pardon me. <laughs> Steady breath. Breathe for four, three, two, one. And slowly come down. Take your child's pose. Don't go all the way up, straight away. Right, so that is just one idea that you can practice after this class. You can practice your inversion that way. Do it as many times as you want, but I recommend taking it slow, just so you can uh, do the movement in a controlled manner. And then learn to control the swaying or the twisting uh, movement as well. So, right, you can go ahead and practice that if you are uh, already ready to cool down. Then let's uh, take it down onto the mat. So sit with your legs extended towards the front, pull your hips out and towards the back, belly button pulled in. Inhale to reach the arms up and over the head. Exhale to reach forward and fold in your Paschimottanasana. For those of you who do have straps, you can use the strap around the feet, keeping the feet flexed, pointing the toes up, keeping the belly in. Inhale here and exhale to fold. Instead of folding forward with a rounded spine, you can round spine, you can just use a strap and pull, sorry, <laughs> pull the chest forward. Um, I ate a piece of banana before coming into class, but it's not recommended to eat a full meal um, before a yoga class since you're taking your body into different positions. Your food might actually come back out of the mouth, but um, a little bit of finger foods is fine. So it's not recommended to eat a full meal an hour before the practice or just to keep it safe two hours before the practice. Right, and inhale to halfway lift, exhale to slowly come up. And then take your feet wide towards the sides. You can again uh, sit on a block here if you are not ready. You can also have towels underneath the knees um, to protect the knees from strain. Keep the feet or the toes pointing up. 
your uh, wide-legged forward fold can just stay here if this is already too much for you. Otherwise, if you want to take it deeper, lead with the heart, so don't fold with a rounded back. Instead, lead with the heart as you fold in. Torso stays straight, belly in, folding forward. And if you really want to see if you can go flat, instead of pushing the hands forward, you're going to try to pull your hands back into you as if you're going to pull your heart forward towards the front of the mat. That way your stretch is going to go into your inner thighs and not on the knees. Keep the toes pointing up. Keep pulling with the hands. Pull your chest forward. Steady breath. Belly in. Wherever you are, if you're all the way down or if you're just here, that's the perfect place to be to open the inner thighs. Steady breath. Breathe for four. Three. Two. One. Inhale wherever you are. Halfway lift. Exhale to slowly walk back in. Inhale here. And exhale to come back to center at the front of the mat. Inhale here to roll all the way down onto the mat. And from here, palms flat down onto the mat. For those of you who already want to take a break, you can go ahead and take your Shavasana. Go for a supine twist first and then Shavasana. Otherwise, if you feel like you still have energy to go for plow pose as well as shoulder stand, let's go ahead and take plow and shoulder stand. Palms are down onto the mat, belly in. Inhale to lift the feet, lift the hips. Take your feet towards the back. Make sure you're not straightening the neck here. You can stay here. You can also interlace the fingers. Steady breath. Try to point your toes back. No strain here. The weight is on the shoulders and not on the neck. Breathe four, three, two, one. Take your arms onto the low back. Try to take the elbows closer in. Lift one leg up and then lift the other leg. Point the toes. Try to uh, lift through the toes up. Steady breath. Belly in. Breathe for four. Three. Two. One. Inhale. Exhale to take your feet back. Palms down. Bending the knees, toes together, knees at the side of the ears. Inhale. And slowly as you exhale. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Come all the way back down onto the mat. Keep the toes pointing towards the front or flex the feet. Press onto the forearms. Lift the chest up. Slowly and gently, crown of the head down onto the mat. Fish pose or Matsyandrasana. Steady breath. Take any variation you want. Breathe. For four. Three. Two. One. Exhale to press down onto the forearms. Release. Back of the head is down onto the mat. Hugging the knees in, twisting over towards the left side, taking your feet and your knees towards the left. Left hand on top of the right knee, reach the right arm towards the side. Gaze towards the right fingertips if there's no strain in the neck. Steady breath. Breathe for four, three, Two, one. Take it back to center. Inhale here. And exhale, switch. Twisting over towards the right side. Right hand on top of the left knee. Reach the left arm towards the side. Left shoulder down. Gaze towards the left fingertips if there's no strain in the neck. Easy release here. For four. Three. Two, 
come back to center. Give yourself one great big loving hug, Apanasana. And one full breath here, inhale. And exhale, unravel. Toes towards the front and out. Fidget around so you're lying comfortably with your hands at the side. Palms facing open. Close the eyes. And gently come into your Shavasana. Relax the body. Slow down the heart. Slow down or quiet down the chatter of all the thoughts in your mind or in your head. Take as much time as you need in your Shavasana. Otherwise, thank you for being here with me this afternoon. Namaste and hopefully I'll see you back again tomorrow, same time. I will try to go into back bends tomorrow. Yeah, so take care, stay clean, stay healthy.